Hey, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everybody had a great time and is recovering this morning uh, and didn't have you know, that great a time. <laughs> um, uh, I just got through uh, eating the traditional uh, black-eyed peas. Uh, where I come from, that's good luck. Who else does that? I, you know, it's a thing. Uh, anyway, hey, I just wanted to real quick, the, the holidays really got away from me. I was very busy, work, family, every, traveling, just everything. Um, and so I kind of fell off the face of the earth. But uh, I wanted to acknowledge back on Christmas Eve, I was hoping to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. I was at like 88 then. Um, Y'all gave me the best Christmas present uh, that I got this year. I was at 104. Uh, before Christmas Day and as I stand here now it's up to I think 122 much appreciated I've been I've been doing a blog for a year now on all kinds of different platforms I've never been one to chase numbers uh, and I'm a social media neophyte I know nothing about it so just sort of been throwing stuff out there and you know things moving in the right direction again I'm not chasing numbers but but what happened was when I got engaged with the Facebook community in particular there's an actual community there, and I don't know whether it's because of video, because we can see each other, we watch each other, you know. Somehow I feel like I get to know you guys better than anywhere else, and I, and I hope that the same is true. But every, it's conversational. Um, you know, it's not just like and move on. It's, uh, we're learning from each other, and it's, it's absolutely amazing. The reason I started this was I look at friends, um, I look at kids. Kids have so much more opportunity to get out in the woods and learn things than adults do but even the kids you know they could use more uh, and, and most of the time it's the parents who are afraid of things because they don't know anything um, not letting their kids get exposed to it. and I'm just trying to open that window I feel like we're we're every day uh, descending more into a world of virtual creation uh, it's literally made up all of our interactions are made up and we're losing track of this is where we evolved this is who we are we don't recognize it anymore and when we don't recognize that and we don't pay attention to it we start to neglect it we start to lose it so um, I'm just trying to demystify I want to encourage everybody to get out um, just like all of you guys are um, and so you know my resolution this year I want to do more of it I, I'm really a backpacker um, I've sort of you know done a bunch of different things with the channel and with the blog this year um, to kind of help fill the void because I haven't had time to go backpack um, and so I want to do more of that this year um, hopefully you guys will will appreciate and enjoy that I'm doing a new thing just started last night with the astronomy I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep that up the pace thanks um, I am gonna do a little bit of a uh, of a giveaway not much just a couple of little gadgets uh, that everybody I think will find useful around uh, camp um, I'm gonna give away a Sawyer Mini and a um, one of the Lucy uh, inflatable lanterns, uh, both of which are just you know cool little things to have around. Um, here's what I'd like you to do. As I mentioned, I'm trying to demystify. I would like you to tell me a story of something that happened to you in the outdoors. Um, you know they say experience is what you get right after you needed it. Um, <laughs> so I want to know about how you screwed up or how you found yourself in a situation that you didn't mean to. Things didn't really go all that well, but it all turned out okay. I, I wanna hear how you learned from it, how you moved on, and how that became a growth experience rather than a, uh, a defeating thing. And I'll, I'll set the tone. Years ago, on a New Year's Day, I was on a hike with my brother and my father, and we went to, uh, we're, you know, nondescript, woods in the back of the neighborhood kind of thing, and uh, went to cross a creek, and I fell in. And it was 15 degrees, and I'm in the woods soaking wet. Um, not a good situation. And my dad knew what to do. I mean, I stripped down in the woods. You can imagine a kid, I was maybe 9, 10, mortified. <laughs> he had stripped down in the woods. And I wound up putting on his sweatshirt, uh, kind of as pants, and his heavy coat. And he walked me out, and we flagged down a, a pickup truck, which is hard to do these days, but we hitchhiked. Uh, back to the house um, and I was fine. It was traumatic, you know, particularly for a kid and it, it could have been very dangerous but because we knew what to do, because we had those skills, because he had that experience, it became a learning experience. So I want to hear something about you guys. Um, put it in the comments is fine. It'd be great if you actually, you know, 
did a video. Um, it doesn't have to be a dedicated video, but maybe tell your story in a video and let me know you did it. I'll do a drawing to give away some stuff. A couple things I mentioned, maybe something else. I'll put everybody's name in a hat, and if you do it very video, uh, let's say I'll do three to one, right? So I'll put th put your name in three times as opposed to just once for a comment. Maybe that'll uh, encourage you. But anyway, thanks again. I mean, the community has been great. I'm loving this. Hopefully I can keep it up. Uh, and the one thing that I hope gets in the way is that I'm spending more time in the woods. And I think, I think we can all appreciate that. So, Happy New Year. We'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.